Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take and wrap up a paddle for an award and we're going to use a 550 cord. You're going to have uh, approximately 50 foot of the blue, about uh, roughly 10 to 15 feet worth of gold. You'll need a lighter, you'll need a what they call a fid, you'll need a pair of scissors or a knife and a pair of gloves and obviously the uh, paddle here in order to wrap it to. We're going to start this with a half hitch. Goes over, comes right back through the same place the other one comes out. Make sure that is tight. Okay. You'll make a loop and you'll pull it through. You'll pull tight and you'll come up. Make a loop and repeat this process all the way through until you're done. So you see the line gets tangled up and it just takes forever to do one of these large paddles. The preferred method is actually a smaller paddle and you just keep going through this process. What I have found that works really, really well is if you'll take and you can put this in a vise if you have one, tighten it down, put you something over here to support it. If you'll take and you just wrap similar to this right here and you make it wide and you run it down and you pull it tight through it automatically makes that loop for you and all you have to do is tighten it up pull it tight back up and you repeat this process until it's done Okay, that one didn't take. So the way it has to be, this right here has to be on the bottom when it comes across. And that will make it set correctly. Pull it tight, go up, repeat. Make sure all your stuff is clear of your workspace. Pull it tight, slide these parts together. Pull it tight, lift up, and repeat. Now the benefits of doing it this way besides speed is the simple fact of it keeps your, your cord clean. One of the problems you'll have is if you get it in a shop and you're working, it's going to make everything, you know, the color of your cord be discolored from the dust on the floor and whatnot. So skipping forward, we have wrapped this uh, from one end to the other. It takes roughly one hour. Um, after we're done with that, now we're going to apply the Turks heads on each end. This is what we're looking for here. That's going to be the end result of what we're making. You're going to need uh, approximately four foot of cord. Uh, you'll need a rubber band and then we'll start the wrapping process. So goes across, make an X. Okay. Once you get the X going, the next portion when it comes through 
using your, your FID, it goes directly underneath. Just like this. After that, it's directly across. And it looks like this. Now, during this process, if you'll kind of try to space it out just a little bit, it'll make it a little bit easier in the end. Cross these over one time. And you end up like this. It's really kind of hard to see. Start here, goes underneath, goes under, goes over. At this point, you can continue doing that process if you want to make several smaller Turks heads or if you're wanting the wide ones that are longer like this, you just start tracing what you've already done. <coughs> so you'll trace here, following the, the cord where it starts. Just look at it, try to make you know, each time it goes across, kind of spread them out a little bit where it's not quite so tight looking and that'll make it a little bit easier for you to get the length um, or the whole, get them evenly spaced. So now you're just going to follow what you've done already. If you'll stay to the outside, it's a little bit easier. So you just take, follows the outside, look at your cord, make sure it's straight. Give it a little snug, snug pull there. Okay. Following this cord, it goes underneath, stay to the outside. Make sure the cord's, you know, make sure it's level, make sure it's even. Okay. And continue this process until you've done it three three trips around. Should I stop? All right. So you can take. And just grab a hold of it and you can rotate the Turk's head back to where it's flat with the back or what you designate as the back of your paddle. Uh, by doing that, you have your ending spots the same as down on the bottom. You also have your blue starting on the same side. So you have your blue and your gold and they cover up. So once you get to this phase here, all you do is take a pair of scissors and cut it short. Take this guy here, take a pair of scissors, cut him short. Okay, and you end up with that. If you leave it like this, it'll unravel, it'll come undone. So what you do is you take a lighter, and very carefully, because it will leave a, a black soot behind, but you hit it with a lighter, and then you use the lighter and you squish it together. It helps the, the nylon, the paracord, bind together. So you just do that, you look and see, that one's still loose. So you heat it up just a little bit more until it's warm enough that they'll, they'll stick together. Okay. Okay, and just do that until they're, until they're blended. Then you can adjust this to where it covers up the blue, you know, wherever you think is most accurate and this is what you end up with this is the overall look that's it then you add whatever decorative stuff you want down here all of this gets covered up so
Gute Nacht.